getting ready to go out. Look at this, guys. The horseshoe crabs are having a meeting. They're everywhere. Whole bunch of them. Welcome back to Funky Fishing. Our bunker was just taken for like a three second ride, but was dropped, but we still got them. So we're hopeful that the uh, bass is gonna come back. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, he's a small bass. That's why they're dropping it. I need a big one. I took it course all right guys we got the tsunami pro flutter spoon we're gonna use i was marking some fish around here i had some bunker but uh they weren't taken properly they came off the hook so we're gonna resort to this flutter spoon see if we could entice the bite because i am marking some fish here we go all right guys we got the flutter spoon out and we got action, baby. On the flutter. Yes. <laughs> that was almost instant, guys. That took like 10 seconds. On the flutter spoon, baby. On the flutter spoon. Guys, this is the first fish I've caught on a flutter spoon. I've never used a flutter spoon before successfully. I've used it once or twice, but there were no fish around when I used it. And finally, I was marking some fish. So I said, hey, let me use the flutter. I hear it's amazing. <laughs> This guy is a fighter. Are you kidding me? This is a bluefish? That's incredible. I flutter spooned a bluefish, guys. That's probably why, yeah. That's why I kept losing that bunker. I was getting blued. Well, now that I know it's a bluefish. Jeez Louise, buddy. Check it out, guys. On the flutter spoon. Flutter spoon, baby. Gotta love it. Beautiful fish. Let's get him back. Let's flutter up another one, guys. That was awesome. Hopefully this time we get a bass. <laughs> we'll see. All right, guys, so we're gonna do what we did last time. We are going to let out the flutter spoon until I think it hits bottom. So let's do that now. 
righty. Away you go. It's gonna take a little bit because it flutters on the way down. It doesn't just drop straight down. Still going. And now we just jig it. I just lifted up and we had a fish on. I don't know if it's a bass. No, no, I, I think it's a, I think it's a blue. Yeah, it just came up, just came up. He's fighting like a blue. Oh no? Is it blue? Yeah, another blue. <clears throat> Might be why there's no bass around. As much, because of all these blues. That guy's one of the heavier bluefish I caught. He's thick. But, uh, oh yeah, it's probably like 15 pounds or something. He's just heavy, not so long, but heavy. Let's get him back. Keep catching him on the flutter. Fish on. Found a little school here. Found a fish. Is it a blue fish again? Yeah, I think so, actually. It's bugging out. Ah, striper baby. There we go. Mixed batch today. Stripers and bluefish. That's what I like to see. Oh! <laughs> oh, he got off there. Let's get us another one. And there's more around. He was probably a 30 ish inch fish. The flutter spoon, the Tsunami Pro six ounce, 11 inch flutter spoon, and we landed it ourselves two nice big Gator Blues, and we hooked into a nice, probably slot, upper slot um, bass that I got to the surface for a moment, but then it must have popped out. Maybe I snagged him, and he wasn't well hooked in the mouth or something. But this gave results. This saved the day. We came out hoping to get bunker. We did not, but still had a successful trip. Flutter spoon with the wind. All right, I'm gonna actually uh, troll the mojo back towards the bridge, get to the bridge, check out if there's any uh, activity going on. If not, I'm gonna call it for the day. It was a pretty good outing today. I think next time I gotta come out earlier if I want uh, more bunker action. It seems like they just go away once the, the sun comes out in full strength. But yeah, until next time guys, stay groovy. Yeah.